I have the Google Pixel 8 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to switch back to the public stable version of Android 14 after you're done testing the Android 15 beta. This process will require you to factory reset your device and will result in you losing all of the data you have on the phone. So back up your important bits ahead of time. When you're ready, though, we're going to reboot the Google Pixel into fast boot mode and then connect it to the PC with a USB cable. Now, we're going to visit this Android Flash Tool website with the intent on switching back to the stable version. And I'll have this page linked in the video description below. Now, once here, you're going to click on the Allow ADB Access button. And then we're going to select our device from this list here. I'll switch back to the default build, but you could go to Verizon or KDDI if you have bought your phone from one of them. I purchased my device directly from the Google Play Store so I'm choosing the default option here. Then we're going to click on this blue install build button and then confirm that this is what we want to install on our device. We're going to accept and now we can follow along here. This website is going to download the firmware that it needs in order to flash our device. So we're going to wait until the full firmware has been downloaded. Now while all of this is happening, you want to make sure that you do not interact with the device unless this website instructs you to do so. Also, you want to make sure that you do not unplug the device because interrupting the firmware flash in the middle can result in a boot loop. So we want to make sure that our phone has a stable USB connection with no need to touch or move the device, again, unless instructed to do so. So the amount of time that this process will take will largely depend on a few factors, such as how fast your internet download speed is. And once that completes, we're just going to start the device by pressing on the power button from within the fast boot menu, but it may restart automatically for you depending on which options you selected in the Android Flash tool. So I'm just going to set this up real quick and show you that we are back to Android 14. And there we have it. We have downgraded our Google Pixel 8 from the Android 15 beta back down to the stable build of Android 14.